Karim Benzema will get the plaudits, and rightly so for scoring two goals early on for real. But it was Kamavinga that provided the base in which to do so, already looking comfortable in possession, while also providing a bit of steel to the Madrid midfield. He has to show this at a consistent level before his first choice on the team sheet, but his and Real's future looks bright. Alaba and Isco miss out with Covid, and Eden Hazard gets an opportunity on the right flank to show what he can do in Real Madrid's 4-3-3 lineup. This is a lineup where Real look to control possession in the midfield and then provide passes to the wide attackers cutting in from the flanks. Bilbao lined up in a 4-4-2, which tended to be quite rigid, but shifted to a 2-4-4 when in possession. The two strikers tend to stay quite high, as Bilbao relied on counter-attacks against this Real Madrid team that would dominate possession. In fact, we can see Real dominate possession 60% to 40%, and Bilbao were wasteful with shots, only managing to get two on target from 15. The XG of 1.59 shows us that Real were clinical in their finishing. Kamavinga steals the show. Kamavinga always made himself available for a pass from his teammates, providing an option for his defenders to get them out of a tricky situation. This provided Bilbao with a problem, as he was often a free man in the centre of the park. With the Bilbao forwards on the defenders and the two Madrid wide attackers dropping back into midfield at times, Kamavinga was free to receive the ball and provide a long upfield pass to an attacker. If the Bibel midfielder had tracked him, this would have left space in the midfield for Cruz or Valverde to move into. Although being marked by two players, Camavinga's teammates trust him with the ball in tight areas. He casually shifts his body to protect the ball and play a pass back to a defender. With Real Madrid overloading the attacks with five players, Camavinga was able to offer an option outside the box here collecting a square pass and getting a first time shot on target. However, he would hope to get more power in the shot next time. Real liked to build possession from the keeper, but Bilbao often made it difficult by surrounding Real's box with five players. This would see the Madrid midfielders come short and very narrow to protect the central defenders and to provide a passing option. With Bilbao's two central midfielders, Real now have a three versus two in the midfield and an option for the goalkeeper. This was quite often Kamavinga, who was the free man, and he would then look to play a pass out to a wide player. Kamavinga's positioning between Bilbao's attack and defence often saw him as the free man, and this meant that he could not only break up play with some crunching tackles, but also the time he needed to spread passes around the pitch, and Bilbao never really got to grips with him. Real were very impressive in using the wide areas and their combinations down the flanks. They chose not to attack down the middle and instead concentrate their attacks from out wide. We would see the fullbacks push up and the wide midfielders shift over to their side along with the wide attacker. And then this made a three. We could then see Karim Benzema also move over to the side between Bilbao's fullback and centre back. This then created a four man overload and allowed Real to dominate possession here. Here we can see players switching positions and finding space. Benzema has moved wide while Mendy has moved inside and is now occupying a centre forwards position and a defender. This allows Cruz the time and space to pick out a pass on the other side of the pitch. The combination of these four players could see a fullback overlap taking a defender with him and the forward cut inside or it could see the forward go on the outside creating space for Benzema in the centre. Bilbao's compact 4-4-2 shape when defending was perfectly set up to counter Real Madrid when winning the ball back. Bilbao left their two forwards on Real's two central defenders as Bilbao looked to isolate the defender against the pace of Williams. There was quite a significant gap between the midfield and the forwards. However, if the Real defender was able to hold the player up long enough, it meant that Real could get back into a defensive shape. When Bilbao were able to build possession though, this 4-4-2 quite easily became a 2-4-4, with the fullbacks and wingers pushing into advanced areas. Bilbao played in a direct way, as this was the best way of utilising Williams' pace. But as long as Madrid had enough players around Bilbao to attackers, these counter-attacks usually came to nothing, 
as Bilbao couldn't get enough support from midfield due to the distances between them. This 2-4-4 shape meant that Bilbao would often have a 2 vs 2 in the wide areas, with the wide attackers dropping back to cover the spaces in front of the fullback. With two midfielders marking the Bilbao midfielders, this would sometimes see Kamavinga as the spare man and mop up problems. This game got off to a cracking start with three goals in the first 10 minutes. Unfortunately, that's where the goals finished, but it was still an entertaining game and one where Real showed that this season's title should quite comfortably be theirs. In Kamavinga, they have a squad player who is very capable of filling in for Modric and Casemiro, but more importantly, a player they can look to the future with.